G'day friends. So I've just been adding heaps of that red clay loam to this veggie garden and I've been busy planting out new seedlings so that hopefully the uh, soil will hold moisture better now. Anyway, so at the moment until all these seedlings grow, I've got limited greens and also because something has been in my garden eating my greens. I'll show you. So this is what I've had to do because like I said, whatever it is, it was eating, eating all my greens, which is not on. And uh, so I just covered all, all this mesh at the moment until I catch the, the culprit. And I bought this humane trap today where you just, it walks in, it eats food and then it closes and then you can put it somewhere else safe away from my veggie garden. So can you guys guess? <laughs> So at the moment, I really don't have that many greens for the first time since I started growing my own vegetables. Normally I have totally abundant, more than I can eat, I'm giving them to everybody I know type thing. But yeah, at the moment, not so much. So I'm getting probably a, a, like a basket once every two days. Hey, I had to bring the camera inside because it's running out of battery. So what would you guys do if you had limited greens? Well, I'll tell you, when, I, when this famine, this greens famine started a couple of weeks ago, I was actually eating them, just like getting the bowl and chopping them up and cooking some rice and just eating them like that. But then I changed my tactic and now I'm actually juicing them. And because of what I was thinking was this, right? So when I put the greens through the juicer I put put it all through the juicer about four times so I'm extracting every last drop of chlorophyll I can before I chuck the pulp out um, and I was, I was just feeling myself that I'm getting more of the chlorophyll and the vitamins and the minerals um, when I've actually juiced these limited greens which is really my whole objective from <laughs> eating greens um, because, like I was thinking, if I eat them, you know, probably a fair amount wouldn't be entirely broken down because of the um, fibre in the greens. And, you know, I eat plenty of fibre, being a low-fat, high-carb vegan, so I don't really need the greens for fibre. My, my main objective of eating greens is for the nutritional content and the chlorophyll. Yeah, so, so yeah, so that's, 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 my, that's my approach at the moment. So I just wanted to share that with you guys for what it's worth. All right, I wanna I wanna introduce you to this little cutie pie. I love him so much. He probably won't let me pick him up at the moment because he he's preoccupied. But let me see. Who's this? This is my mum's dog. His name is Wiley, and he's six months old and he's so cuddly. He's a Maltese Shih Tzu. Oh, Wiley, I love him so much, isn't he, darling? He's a big boy for six weeks, for six months old. He's got such a great personality. Oh, yeah, my little darling. Oh. Anyway, I just wanted to show you him. He's, he always comes over to visit. Anyway, well, thanks very much for watching. I'm going to go and drink the green juice, and I'll see you next time.